We are off and running, or at least rolling. Come here, Alaska, get out of the way. Up and down, up and down, up and down, up and down, up and down. Join us. And across the knuckles. And in the head of the thumb. And the pinky. And interlacing in the palm of the hand. And compressing one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Letting go. And compressing two, three, four, five, six, seven. Letting go. And one more time. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right, today let's toss it up in the air or toss it to a partner if you have one there. Keeping yourself guessing as to where it's going and which hand is catching and which hand is throwing. Varying the tempo and the height. Maybe slapping it instead of catching it. Dropping it occasionally just to demonstrate that you're not making it too easy. And three, two, one, good. Got the ball on the floor. So that's how your feet are feeling. And step on it three times right in the middle. Up to the knuckles. Once across. Roll across the knuckles. Bring it down to the top of the heel and pivot on the toes as you roll across the top of the heel. <laughs> uh, press right below the first knuckle at the side of the top of the heel, over in the middle of the fifth metatarsal, and roll down the bone. And scroll. Three, two, one, reassess. And we'll go to the other foot, pressing down. Knuckles. Rolling it across the knuckles. Rolling across the top of the heel. Pressing on the three points. Rolling down the bones. And scribbling. Three, two, one. The ball gets out of the way. And let's do some more chops. Seven through the middle, seven on each side. Two. Hinging at the waist. Keeping the spine neutral. 
on the one side now. And then the other. And come right out and shake the tree. And center. Nice breath. Twist at the waist, swing the arms. Come to center and do some ocean wave breathing. Fingers and thumb behind the back at the base of the spine and gather in starlight. And the other side. And center. Two deep press. Uh, three march in place. Or jog. So today is an isometrics day. And then some. Uh, Five Tibetans in the after class. So, with 25 seconds left, I think I will do some sprinting. You could do anything you want to get the heart rate going, including doing exactly what you're doing. I'll pick it up just a little or a lot, but be safe. Whatever you do. I'm going to sprint in five, four, three, two.
15, 20, and then you 25. Centering with two deep breaths. Interlacing the hands, the fingers, raising hands up overhead, reaching up, extending behind, coming back to center, and bending in one direction. Then the other. Centering. Coming down, pressing out of the chest. Coming down. Shrugging. Rolling our shoulders back. And forward. Bringing the hand out and pressing down at the knuckles or above the knuckles. Other side, other hand. Standing and rotating. Other way. Thumbs up and down, up and down, up and down. Bringing the arm across the chest, right about the neck level, and pressing on the elbow. Other arm. First arm behind the head, pressing down on the elbow. Other arm. Rotate the neck. Other direction. Nod. Go ears to shoulders. Go into a side lunge. Other direction. Stretch the calves. Pressing down on the back heel.
of the way. And then we'll come back to that in a second. Let's grab a stick. So we've got, we're doing the uh, stick routine, but we'll stretch the calf too. So this is where you take the stick and bring it behind your back and then forward and back, forward. One more time in this direction and then switch directions. And bring the stick behind you and oscillate behind you. And um, bring it behind you down, down low. Bring one foot forward and twist. Then bring the other foot forward and twist. Then bring the stick behind you so that it's resting at the bottom of your thighs. Bring your hands around in front and pull up. Stretching your back. And then bring the stick around front. Stretch out your arms, hinge at the waist. You feel a stretch in your upper trunk. Come up, bring the stick over to your side and stretch by Bringing the stick out at about 45 degrees. Stretching your side. And then the other way. Then bring the stick across your body. Hinge a little bit at the waist. Put your arm on your shoulder and pull a little bit, stretching the shoulder. Bring the stick into the other arm, bring it across, hinge at the waist and pull on the other shoulder. Then bring the stick, uh, put your uh, leg forward with your toes up. The stick is behind your uh, leg and you're gonna reach down towards that leg that's out in front and stretch the hamstring. Go up, same thing on the other side, the other foot comes out, toes come up, reach across, stretch the hamstring. Come up, put the 
first foot against the bar, the stick, and stretch the calf. And the other foot. Then lift one leg, stretch the quads. And the other leg. Go back to that first leg, bring it up in front, then slightly hinging at the waist and feel it in the hips. Come back up and then get the other leg in front, hinge at the waist. And come up. So we're going to do isometrics today, and we're going to start by putting the stick in front and coming up on our toes for 15 seconds. Two, three, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, and then back on our heels. One, two. Three. Thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen. Okay, let's put the stick down. Uh, I should have mentioned this earlier, but uh, grab a cloth or a band or um, a strap. Uh, I won't use them right away. I'll give you some time to uh, to get them. Um, but we're going to start with the uh, head. You want to put your palm on the side of your head and press. And then other side. Forehead. And if you have a cloth or a towel or something, I'd do it this way. If not, um, if you have a band or a, a strap, I wouldn't. I, if you have a band or strap, just put your hands behind your head and press back. If you have a cloth, you can put it around your neck and just uh, raise your head back and pull on that cloth. But if you don't, put your hands behind your head and press back. Okay, take your cloth or band or strap Put your hands in the middle, close together, around chest high. Pull down as you're pulling up. And then reverse the position of the hands. On the towel again, they're right together. 
and pull down as you're pulling up. Check it out. Put the towel in front of you about uh, the uh, right above your belt line. Uh, palms are facing down. And then just bring the strap or cloth up as you pull in either direction, keeping your hands relatively close to your body. Go up to about your forehead. You're going back and forth and then start coming down. Check it out. Reverse palms up on with one uh, hand palm facing your body with the other bring it up to your shoulder and swing it across your body like you're paddling a canoe again pulling in either direction and then reverse the position on the hands and go to the other side. Okay, that's it for the towel for now. We'll do some toe scrunches. So dig your toes into the soles of your uh, shoes if you have them on or into your socks or floor. And just hold that tension. And release. Bring your hands into prayer position and press. And let go, shake it out, bring your hands up like Charles Atlas, make your bicep pop and hold. And let go. All right, you can do this next exercise sitting down or you can lie down. I'll show you the sitting down first. You sit down, put your legs out and press up as you're pressing down. And then we're gonna reverse. Or you can get down on the ground or we're gonna do a couple more exercises in a second and do it this way. So you're pressing up with one foot and down with the other. And then shake it out and reverse.
good? And turn around. Palms are underneath your shoulders. You're just gonna come up, you stay on your knees and come up off your knees about an inch. Keep your uh, core tight. And come down. Uh, All right. Let's get that. We'll come up. And for this, you want to stand next to a wall, put your hand on the back of the chair, or use your pole. You're going to stand on one leg. 20 seconds. Two, three, five, six. Twenty and come down, and then the other leg. Combination of isometric and balance. Five, six. Eighteen, nineteen, and twenty, and down. And that'll do it. Shake it out. And rub those hands together. Cultivating chi, forming a chi ball. And let it us, letting it lead us wherever it wants to go. Centering. Two breaths. And we'll open our hearts. Pausing and letting it all go out. Centering, two breaths. And bringing down Chi from above. Going down, bring it up. And... <laughs> Namaste. Gracias. Hey, you're welcome. Ciao.
Thanks, Don. Okay, Don. Take care. Have a good one. You too. And for those of us left, if there's any thoughts, questions, comments, I'd be happy to entertain them. Otherwise, we'll go right to the uh, Tibetans. Okay. Again, on the Tibetans, feel free to just twist at the uh, waist and swing the arms if you don't want to spin. Otherwise, let's do 11 turns or up to 11. Stop whenever you start feeling dizzy. And then take two deep breaths as I switch the camera to the floor where I will meet you. Soles of the feet are on the floor, hands are either by the side, or if you need support in the back, put it underneath your lower spine. If you need support at the neck, you can put your hands underneath your head. Head, neck, and shoulders are coming up about a couple of inches off the floor at the same time that your feet come up. And you go right back down. In the unmodified version, your legs are extended and you bring them up to about a 90 degree angle. I'll do six and five, starting now. Two deep breaths. And we get up on our knees. Hands on the back of our thighs or on your glutes. Just rack back on your knees if you can't extend your back. But if you can do, and come forward, that's one, two, And 11. Two breaths. Turn around, sit down. In the modified version. Soles of the feet are on the floor. Hands are again facing, a fingers facing forward by the side of your hips. You can reverse them and put them behind you if you find it easier. We're going to go into a table. Unmodified version, again, you extend your legs and come into the table. Like so. And I'm going to do that for all 11. 
choose which is best for you. And let's do it. One. Ten and eleven. Two breaths. And we're going to get on all fours. We're going to come up into a cobra. In the modified version, in the unmodified version, you actually start at a down dog, come into an up dog, and back to down dog. I'll do six and five. One. And eleven. Come around. Cross your legs, however feels most comfortable. Take a couple of breaths. So we're going to Rotate at the waist, sitting up or bending over. We'll do six in one direction, five in the other, and then switch the position of the legs. One. And when you finish 11, put whatever leg was in front behind, or if it was on top, put it on the bottom. We'll do five in the original direction, six in reverse, pausing on the last round to stretch in front. And I'm coming around, stretching out with both hands and taking two deep breaths. Move to your left knee, stretch out and then take two more breaths.
right knee. And sit down. Thank you, Tom. Hey, Mary, Thank you're you. welcome. Thank Good you, Tom. Lana. Suzanne, take care. Nice. Tom, um, have a nice day. You too, Hal. Stay dry. Thanks, Tom. Hey, Jonathan, take care. Thank you, Tom. Richard, yeah, you better, I think it's gonna uh, clear up in the afternoon, so you may get your walk in yet. Okay. It's late afternoon. Hey, Jack, take care.